All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast. This is your boy, Brian, a.k.a. El Nino, and today I'm joined with... Jordan. <laughs> and then just go around and introduce yourselves. These episodes are, of course, the quarantine session, so we're, uh, we're recording via Zoom, so the quality might not be as great as always, but we, we do what we can. So we'll start with just kind of Tila and the ladies and work our way around. Yeah, so I'm Tila, a.k.a. Tila Not Tequila on Instagram, <laughs> calling in today from New York City, a.k.a. Ground Zero for coronavirus right now. True, true. Y'all holding down out there. Amy, who we got? Yeah, I'm Amy. Uh, I don't have a fun nickname, uh, but also calling from Ground Zero from New York. Uh, we're just, you know, Carolina girls hanging out in the city and uh, quarantining. <laughs> just a couple of kittens out in the city just a couple of kittens <laughs> <laughs> and the fellas who are the fellas joining me tonight yeah we've got a giants fan over there let him go first all right it's, uh, i'm dennis aka d rad uh help out on the uh video game side of things for uh zero dark nerdy word word it's mateo long time zdn guy aka I will never financially recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Today's episode is going to be on the number one show on Netflix. Honestly, the number one show probably in the world right now. It is Tiger King, Murder, Madness, and Mayhem. Um, we're going to be talking about just kind of initial thoughts, um, favorite. I don't even know if there's a favorite. Definitely some least favorite characters on the show. And then when the uh, inevitable movie comes out, who we would like to play, what characters. So um, for Amy and Tila, you know, two long, long time friends of ours from North Carolina living in the city. We're glad that you're doing OK. We do want to give a big shout out to everyone across the world. We hope that you're doing all right. All our listeners, all our fans, even if you never heard of us before, please stay home. You know, practice social distancing. This shit is mad real. Uh, just just stay indoors as much as humanly possible so we can all get through this and uh get back to, you know, quote unquote, normal as soon as possible. And thank so, you, uh, our essential workers, our yeah. janitors and our healthcare workers and our grocery people and gas station folks. Beyond True. The MVP. Yeah. Big up. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Very, very, very good call on that one. And a uh, big shout out Renee Reed as well. We're going to shout her out on Wednesday during trivia night. But yeah, all the essential workers out there, thank you for everything you do, especially everybody in the medical field, everybody staying open for us to uh, try to live as normal as possible during these times. So, uh, Tila, we'll start with you, then go to Amy, and then Matthew, and then D-Rad, and go from there. And uh, so, give us some initial feedbacks on the one and only Tiger King. All right, initial feedback. Uh, first of all, what the fuck? Like, every, every 30 seconds, you're like, that about right. wow, this shit is not going to get crazier. And then it's like, surprise, like, it is. Like, there's so many missing limbs and, and, and questionable meat. Uh, and questionable <laughs> meat. The puns right now. Meat. The puns right that, now. That's when I sent y'all the face. When I, I sent Brian and Tila a face when I, when the questionable meat came up, and I was like, "What am I watching?" Yeah, that was top three moments of I had to run out of the room gagging. Uh, we'll get to the other two <laughs> later. Um, Wait, was it when it's on the pizza? When it what, yeah, when they put it on the pizza, that was that. it for me. That was it for me. <laughs> it wasn't when they were just like digging through it. Like, oh no, that, that too. Like, That's bad. But the on the pizza, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, you work in the restaurant industry long enough, you're not surprised by shit like that. Bologna, just, Walmart yeah. bologna. They had bologna on that truck. <laughs> bologna on pizza. <laughs> Listen, I live in New York now. I'm bougie now with my pizza. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Um, anyway, second thought, um, might just be me, but like, was Joe like swagged out or what? Yeah. Like, the drip yeah, non stop. Yeah. The styling, stop. styling, <laughs> styling every single day. He's like, the, the drip time. was mad real. The first, the first thing you saw was a bedazzled mm -hmm. handcuff. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's what he got me. I mean, immediately sucked in. Really so much sequins. That. I'm a sucker for sequins. Anytime. <laughs> Love the Dude was a walking no, trapper we're keeper. Glitter, we're glitter. <laughs> <laughs> it was New Year's all the time for him. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And then there was a meme about the um, uh, the the EMT jacket he had. Oh yeah. gosh! Yeah, why did he? That, that was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, does he just have this on deck for when? Oh, he I didn't even register for the park. <laughs> the damn EMT bomber. <laughs> And it's like so slim, like everything is just barely buttoned on him. Just barely. He can't gain a pound, so you know he's not eating that Walmart meat. No, he's on that meth diet, girl. Come on now. No. He's on that Target shit. <laughs> Target, yeah. Target truck. He's on that expires a week later shit. <laughs> oh, no. Amy, what are some of your thoughts about it when you first got into it? So. My initial thought and, and a consistent thought that I had throughout my viewing experience was that I have waited on one, if not all of those characters yes. throughout my bartending career, <laughs> That's, whether it's in North Carolina or New York, like that shit has come into my bar and stayed way longer and told me stories that were way too personal. And it was just maybe that like, it was a shocking like documentary, but I think that's one of the things that I was like, yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, I can see this happening. Hundred <laughs> percent, see some guy doing this. Like it's just everybody in the service industry has met somebody like that at one time or another. Whether it was, it's not just Fire some King, guy. Whether it was <laughs> Jeff, like he, like we have definitely met that guy. With, oh, like, Jeff on UFC nights and stumbles and a bandana. Um, and the hot girls that are way cooked um, out. Like, we've all met with the rental Ferrari that we're all like, okay. All affliction, yeah. everything. Your car gets declined <laughs> here all the time. You know, we've all met those guys. Uh, and like I said, and it just happens to be more rednecky in North Carolina, but it, you get it up here as well. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Um, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I was also horrified by the meat truck. Mm -hmm. And I have been broke in my life, but I don't think I've ever I didn't even noticed that broke. before we watched it. Um, <laughs> and uh, also, the guy in Myrtle Beach, like, I think, I, again, I text Brian and Teal. I was like, yeah. my mother's house is an hour and a half from there. How did I not know that this ball of crazy yeah. whole Yeah, I live 20 minutes from that guy. <laughs> like, I know, how yeah. did I not know? Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So those are, and then I also felt really bad for the husbands. Like the husbands were clearly drug addicts, and yeah. uh, even the even um, the one who's died, his mother. Like I felt, yeah. Oh for god. Her because yeah, that she was, was... Clearly, clearly like nodding out during one of her interviews, and then also just like when they were like shoot. Remember that scene when they were talking about the drugs and like tiger king was like shooting a gun and the the husband's mom was like laughing i was like oh i also know this family like i yeah. <laughs> like all oh, that's hilarious point a gun at someone around like you know and it's like everyone has that in their family maybe that's just the country i don't know but like that it, it really, like on drugs and he was like they were just doing shit for drugs which it, even though we know that it's not an excuse it does it always makes me very sad to see like right their own choices but it always just makes me very sad to see that so, yeah but those are my those are my key takeaways and then we got the britney spears gold after the after we stopped watching and it just keeps getting it's the gift that keeps on giving keeps on giving yeah yeah, yeah we, ain't, we ain't talking about no herps <laughs> <laughs> has, has any, okay that's the thing has anyone gone down the twitter feed the mm -hmm. I have to send this to you guys. Like, if I can even send it, I'll send it to you in the in the Facebook chat. Robert Moore is uh, a documentary around the same time. He did a podcast, and uh -huh. he has a mega thread on Twitter. Okay. Like, it's uh. insane. At one point, um, Tiger King, like, um, apparently told everyone that he had cancer and was raising money on his Facebook. There's a, and he says, and Robert Moore was like, yeah, I actually believed him because he showed me this horrifying picture. He posts the picture. He says, it turns out he was hospitalized, not from cancer, but from severe dehydration and a really bad herpes breakout. Uh, and when you see the picture. Like, oh no. I'm going to send it to our, our it. tiger talk right now. You know, so you know, it's that bad. Because of everything that we have seen in a seven-part documentary, which already makes you go like, holy shit, 
that that case oh, of hers no. was that bad. They're like, we this can't guy, even put that in. This guy was doing his podcast around the same time as the documentary was going on. So he already right. spent like four or five years of his life. And he's just like, oh yeah, this Netflix documentary. Like, And he starts going through and people are asking him questions and he's answering. It is like, it's content gold. It's amazing. <laughs> I have to check it out. Matthew, what are, what were your some, some of your takeaways from, uh, from this uh, train wreck of a masterpiece? Yeah, I'm just blown away now. Like, Jesus, where do I go from there? Like, <laughs> Listen, we've been quarantined. We had a lot of time to go down rabbit holes, okay? We've been in the house for a while. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Yeah, I th I th the thing is, like, well, first of all, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm never going to Oklahoma, ever. <laughs> um, I've been. You, you're, you're, you're right. <laughs> there's no reason. Like, I don't, I don't get it. But then the South Carolina guy shows up, the Myrtle Beach guy, and he's like, everyone I've ever hated. <laughs> <laughs> and he he also has many wives and like all of this is okay like they're saying all of this like you know. i did not know this was such a thing like who knew that this like, right. the cat thing was a yeah. such a flex and b such a like like community i'm like what, like who are these people but there's not just one there are all of them are like uh -huh. that mm -hmm. I don't they're, know the, they're the they're the who co-pet the that sat in your bar and talk to everyone for four five six seven hours every saturday night and you're like that guy's kind of odd and then in his house that's how they live oh. <laughs> that's <laughs> that fucking devastating yeah and of I course have... it was carolina right like it had to be carolina <laughs> yeah <laughs> I thought when we were free and clear until I saw like, Myrtle Beach. I said, I know. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dirty Myrtle. Dirty Myrtle. Dirty Myrtle. In there. <laughs> yeah, everyone in North and South Carolina went, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Damn shit. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I tried watching it again today. Okay. And, and yeah, yeah. And it was, it was like, what the fuck? Again. Yeah. All over again. And yeah. Like, the sec I think the um the second episode started with no and the first episode ended with oh yeah she fed her husband to the tigers and then it started <laughs> the second like, episode what? started with oh yeah she ended she killed her episode she she killed her husband and fed him to the tigers and all this time everybody's like really down on Joe for doing stupid stuff which they should be right the only one in jail though right or yeah, is the other guy in jail yeah, the crew looking guy <laughs> What's that? I, no, I was saying all of them should be in jail. They should yeah. all be in jail. Oh, yeah. Uh, campaign manager. He was a... Uh, he was the coolest guy. He was, he was by far except for the, except the, for the whole same person in no, there. No, the... Well, well, we'll no, and the, and the guy with no legs. He, he wasn't too bad. Yeah, no, he was all fine. Fine. I'll save it for when we do, because okay. I have a character, but... Yeah, he was fine. I mean, I also thought, I kind of thought the girl that lost her arm, or the guy, she's trans, he's trans, um, <clears throat> that lost his arm... I mean, with the exception of having a really misplaced loyalty, also seemed fairly normal. I mean, again, with the exception uh, of missing an arm. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Matt's like, uh, no, it's just. I feel like if you worked at that park, there's got to be some sort of screw loose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, and I mean, on top of that too, she made it to where like we could never call out sick for work again. Like her damn arm got mauled off, and she was back at work in like <laughs> three fucking work. days. Like when I'm sick, I don't even want to go to work for a week. No. This chick is missing half an arm, and she was like, oh, "I was back at work on like Thursday." Well, like, that's what? also a uh, also a vet, yeah, uh, like a military something or other, wasn't he? I don't remember. Who? What? That they got paid a hundred dollars. I think a former military. I thought. I thought. Oh, I don't know. I could be. Yeah, but, but to Matt's point too, I, the, you know, the hundred dollars a week thing, and I mean, a lot of these people, I mean, they even said it too, like they were, you know, just fresh out of prison, mm -hmm. felons. Like no one's going to give them a chance except for working at this place. Yeah, so free, up, room like, free room and board, a hundred dollars a week. Here we go. Expired meat, everything. You can <laughs> yeah. All the expired meat you can have. Oh. And apparently, you know, painting big cats. That is just that's another form of payment. True. So many people do so much crazy shit, and their justification was, "Well, I got to be around the cats. I got to pet the cats." I'm like, "Oh, no. you know what's funny is like we all remember what when on the dating apps, like like the tiger was like a thing. On the dating apps, it was like a thing where people were posing with tigers, and I never got that. I was like, "Why is this supposed to impress me? I don't understand." 
Like, <laughs> and it's like, not like it. a big ass tiger. Like it's a little cub. <laughs> not like that. It's not a fucking Disney yeah. movie. It's not like it's coming up to you to be your friend. Like <laughs> you're going to an enclosure to like hang out with a drugged up tiger. That doesn't make you attractive in any way. <laughs> I mean, neither do the Affliction shirts, but that that, that one dude had him in Spain. I mean, and a bandana. He was he was sponsored by Affliction. No, that was her. So triggering. <laughs> <laughs> so and triggering. What, were, what were some of your uh, first reactions from the show? Who me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. All right. Yes. Yeah. So it was just watching it. It was kind of like, this is kind of like the analogy that I thought of. It's probably a horrible one, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> it's like you were watching it it's almost like when like your house catches on fire, but like one part of your house catches on fire. Then you're like, Oh crap, we should probably go tell the neighbors. Maybe they can help us out, get some water or something. And then you come back and then the next room's on fire and you're like, Oh shit. Like, wow. Look at the, you're like, Oh wait, hold on. The house is still on fire and to the next room, to the next room, to the next room. And before you know it, the house is burnt to the ground. And that's kind of how it felt like it end too. Cause you were just like, Oh, and Joe's in jail and they're building a new zoo. And you're like, wait, that was like, everything was on getting uncovered. And they're like, and we don't know about Carol with her husband. It's like all these like things where you just like, like I said, with the fire, you're like, Oh, look, dude, my house keeps catching on fire. And then all of a sudden, before you know, it's burnt to the ground. You're like, wait, what? It's, it's over. What <laughs> like I need closure. I need, I need, you know, I need all these things answered. And it's just like, no, nope, this is uh, what happened. And this is how crazy some of these people are. And you're just like, Oh, Oh, okay. That's, all right, I'm not petting a tiger ever again in my life, but okay. could, that, could that be good directing? Yeah, I'm and good I, editing. I guess I was literally in shock. I mean, it was just Sometimes like the story tells itself, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but I was just like, because uh, my fiance was saying she's like, I almost wish they waited like five years down the road, or like maybe if Joe gets out of out of jail or something like that, where you kind of see more of a story. Because like mm. we were talking about, there's that scene where Joe's. Uh, what would that be? His third husband um, is fourth, in that, I think. fourth <laughs> husband is in that room, and he's like pulling out all that stuff because Joe's like give oh, away yeah. the, give away the house, and he pulls out of that thing, and that person that who I don't know a lawyer uh, I don't know who was they were like no 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 close that close that close that, and we were like what, what? what? oh yeah because he sold some tigers to Doc Antle in Myrtle and, Beach and he was pulling and he was, out. yeah yeah put that away yeah he's like yeah. no 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 put that away and we were like what 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 was that. Like, yeah, receipts. And so yeah. there's like all these like little things where you're sitting there and you're like, uh, what? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, I fell asleep on the very last episode because I was just I had been binging it, and then I was just I, I, I kind of woke up at the very end. I was like, okay, all the tigers are gone. I can't I can't go back. I can't rewind it and watch it again. I can't do it. I just went through the whole emotional roller coaster. And just, uh, ma- it's, just it's imagine over. the best book you've ever read and the writer having a heart attack right before he ends. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> like what it felt like also just, I needed, there was like so much shit happening like so much so much illegal stuff yeah and the one thing yes. the one person well he, okay so joe's my favorite like bad person in the whole series like they're all bad <laughs> <laughs> all of the bad people he favorite is the, yeah. of all the bad ones he's at the top of my list you're the best bad person he's the best bad person <laughs> in, my, in my heart um but like what he did, I mean, yeah, like they talked about killing Carol like every fucking day, but like they also did a lot of other illegal stuff and that just goes nowhere. I know. You're like, so you pick the one thing that like, well, yeah, but in a thing and that's what we're doing. Like, that's what you got. <laughs> yeah, he definitely like threw himself under the bus, like well, gave yeah. him all the evidence that they ever needed on the yeah. internet. 100%. Idiot. He's not a smart criminal. <laughs> <laughs> So today when I rewatched it, I remember, so he, he's locked up on five counts of killing five lions. Right. Right. But then when you go to um, Carol's place, she has this whole wall of monuments of cats that she's killed. Yeah. Yeah. Or she's died not, she's not. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Died. Quote, unquote, kill or yeah. Died on their own. That Both. was, that was the other thing. It's like, Every single, you know, like you always hear the saying, two sides to every story. With this, everybody's story, there's like 18 sides to every story. <laughs> You're like, I didn't give him $3,000. Well, yeah, he gave me $3,000. Well, I didn't go to Florida. But yeah, I did go to Florida, but yeah. I didn't get take the, the $3,000. And you're just like, <laughs> was that Alan? Yeah, yeah you're like, what? Yeah. what? 
I think the worst for me was Jeff, for sure. I mean, he was the one that started, like, I mean, obviously, we don't like Jeff in general, but um, the the whole, like, bringing Cubs to Vegas. Yeah, to Vegas. Like, uh, I, it yeah. just, the rage that was in, like, I just, in it suitcase. takes a really shit human being. Uh, yeah. And you, like, even see him in the cage when he started pissing off the lion, then he starts beating the lion because the lion's attacking. I'm like, he, it's not a toy. Like, it's a yeah. toy. And I just, and towards the end when they started breeding more because they needed to make more money, that's when I really was like, I think that's when Joe lost it for me. You know, like, yeah. I, I felt like he was misguided before. Yeah. Uh, but when he started doing that, I was just like, no, we're not. Mm-hmm. Not here for that, Cat and Kitten. We're not here for it. That was another Hell, thing that was left unsaid, like, when they, um, when he rented that uh, party bus. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Like, you, right, and then all he said was, that was so a bad, bad idea. They can't even take care of themselves <laughs> and others. Yeah. How terrible they're going to be to those animals on a party bus. Yeah. Like, imagine all the cocaine and all the alcohol and just all the, like, really terrible human beings in general, plus all yeah. of that. And, and they're in Vegas. Cat in there? No. No. That's my bleeding heart moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, like, no. So You're good. We'd like to take the time to thank one of our sponsors, Andrew Newman, Attorney at Law. Located here in Greensboro, North Carolina, he can assist you with your criminal as well as traffic violations, and his practice includes Guilford, Forsyth, as well as all surrounding counties. To set up a free consultation, you can contact him at 336-663-2388, and you can also visit him on his website, attorneynewman.com. It's just sad. I mean, especially because, like, animals just hit so much different than humans. Yeah. It's just because they're helpless, like they can't speak. Mm-hmm. It's just horrible. Like it, like it was hilarious. Like the second episode, especially, was to me my favorite episode because it just talked about like his music and like the husbands <laughs> coming in it's on and, Spotify. Them, and the wonderful music videos. I forgot. But like, when it started getting oh deeper God, into the series, that. it just got more and more sad, and I just felt angrier each episode. And it became mm-hmm. less. Yeah less fun to watch because it just made me angry honestly yeah i think that's when people started realizing i think and i think the direction behind it was a little bit genius because it was showing this kooky crazy character Mm -hmm. and the face that he presented to the world and kind of it the face that tricked all these people if they weren't paying attention Mm -hmm. and then it kind of devolved into what was really going on and how talk like he was a predator he was in in the twitter feed that i sent you the guy kind of goes into joe's background a little bit and some of the abuse that he suffered etc but be that as it may like he was very clearly a predator whether it was it taking advantage of the animals or it was taking advantage of you know vulnerable people just out of jail like when he was getting that woman who was homeless and like giving her a job and all of this like i was so angry because she was crying and she was so she was either like out of rehab or something or out mm-hmm. of jail and he was like, yeah, you know, I'll give you a job. Like he was so magnanimous and just this wonderful human being. I'm like, you're going to give her pennies a day to bust her ass and to abuse animals and to live off of like what, like rotten meat. And you're doing it and you're Almost her into thinking that <laughs> she's getting like a new chance. At, like, come on. That's, that's just a shitty human being right there. Yeah. I, I don't like that. Well, wasn't his, wasn't his like heart in the right place when he first first started that perhaps like, I guess he, yeah. was, he was like yeah, i want to end the brief started stuff yeah. i want to end everything and then the money and like right. got to his head no yeah. well i think the money and then i think and, and the guy on that feed talks about it like when he started losing control and people weren't loving and he didn't have control of his image anymore then he and he obviously has some mental health issues as well so he just started spiraling and just spiraling and then doing whatever he could and you know and just lies and bad behavior beginning lies and bad behavior it was really it was it was sad to watch but then also when you watch him like like I mentioned earlier like he literally screwed over all the people that actually were loyal to him right at the in the end he screwed over all the people that were that were good to him and got in bed with these really terrible like felons Mm. yeah (laughs) 
And I mean, even, you know, towards the end, and obviously if you've not watched Tiger King, I don't know why you're listening to this episode right now. <laughs> so, um, so but like, like his, his, even like his court case, everybody was pretty much against him, except for, I can't, you know, I hate that I forget the guy was with no legs, but he was the only one that was actually somewhat going to bat for mm-hmm. Joe. Being like, look, he's not perfect. Like, he's definitely fucked up, but he's not as terrible as Jeff. He's not Carol. You know, like, he's not going to do yeah, all I this stuff. That, I think that Joe and Carol are probably on the same page. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm for not sure they Joe's all are. Any means. I'm, not, I'm not signing any free Joe petitions or anything yeah. like that. But, he's, um, he's, you know, that's really the only guy. To get out of jail. Right, yeah, he's trying to get a presidential pardon right now. But that's yeah. a story for another day. So, um, but yeah, I mean, to, to, to Matt's point earlier, too, I do think, like, in, in Netflix, I tell you what, I, I don't know if they have something to do with the post-production, but they get these documentaries that just hit on the editing. Like, the editing is just top-notch. It draws you in. Because if you figure, because to me, you know, Heather, Jordan's mom, we were watching it. And I thought this shit happened in, like, the 90s. I mean, of course, the clothes. Yeah, I just yeah well, I'm, gonna I'm like, how old is this shit? Alone was very Travis Tritt. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm like, and then, you know, we start seeing dates, and I'm like, 2019? This motherfucker's still wearing this shit? <laughs> You've been to South Carolina, though, right? Like you. <laughs> I'm not even talking about the South Carolina, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with Joe right now. But, yeah, no, I mean, I get it. Why? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, the South Carolina dude has the soul patch. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, right. That, that compound okay. is a whole nother <laughs> in itself. I'm glad they found that girl that was like, used to be a part of it and then left. Yeah. Like, she also seemed like, out of everyone, the most sane. Yeah. Like, out of yeah. everybody, out. for sure. Yeah. But she literally got talked into a boob job because she wanted to sleep. These guys want to rest on the floor. Well, yeah, I mean, really wanted, but I was tired. Yeah, but yeah, the, I thought the editing was great. But you know, yeah. to Dennis's point too, it was. It's like just watching one thing. You know, I got to the point where literally, I'm like, this has to be fake. This this cannot be real. You know, especially like when they were like, well, you know, and they ended it so perfect. To Matthew's point. Well, you know, Carol kiss, killed her husband. And I'm like, what? And then, you know, there's that. Then there's the meat truck. Then they bring in the Jeff guy. And he's all afflictioned out. Then there's the other dude. Then yeah, they, they interviewed a drug guy. They anyway. interviewed Scarface. Yeah. Right. Then he's running for governor. Uh, well, no, yeah. he's running for president. The then Mario, for what was his I'm name? like, what in the fuck is going on right now? And why that's do I when not he was remember really this? spiraling. That's like when whatever disorder is going yeah. on in his brain that he was just like ah, presidential room. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to label it because I don't know, but there's something happening there for sure. <laughs> so you know, eventually there 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 will be a movie be made about this um, some way somehow. I mean, there's got to be. This is just one of the most. I thought Don't Fuck with Cats was on some shit. But this one, I didn't watch that. I couldn't do it. it it's rough. I tell you, that's Don't one of that's a rough passes. first episode. But and it's only three episodes. So by the time you get to episode two and three, it's like you better catch this motherfucker. But I read yeah, the synopsis. First episode that, that, is rough. That's enough for me. <laughs> no, and it's not for everybody. But this one, no. I mean, the story is so unbelievable. Um, I would love to see a movie based on this. So you know, this time around, we'll start with Jordan and then go. No. Nope. Don't do it. I'm thinking right now. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. We'll start with Dan. We'll start with uh, Dennis, and then go to Matt, then go to Amy, and then Tila, and then back to me. So, starting with Dennis, like you know, as far as you can pick out any characters, one character, like who would you like to see play a part in in the Lion or the Lion King, the Tiger King movie? <laughs> like what actor? Yeah. So for any, for any role in the documentary. So I'm actually. Uh, reusing this because i saw it on a on a meme but i thought it was a little a little too perfect <laughs> um who's the who's the other actor in Step Brothers? not will ferrell john c, oh, c. riley john c riley as uh, doc annell <laughs> i was like oh man that's... well you know will ferrell's gonna be in there yep and then the, <laughs> and i think the meme was had like danny mcbride as the tiger king I oh think. yes that yeah. would work I yeah. think he's not super slim enough though. Like part of it is part of part of Joe's like whole persona is he's this very seventies rocker skinny, like meth head nineties kinda 
Oh, it's who's like David um, Spade when David Spade played it, Joe Dirt? Like that. Or, kind or of... um, who plays Officer Dangle in uh, Reno 911? Yeah. Oh, I can't think of his name. So there was there was a meme though where it was like if Joe Dirt and Officer Dangle had a kid, it would be Joe Exotic, which is the perfect <laughs> perfect myth. So I think that'd be those are I it's reused, but I saw it and I was like, I those are those are too perfect. So that's who I'd go with. Nice, nice, Matthew. What are what are your thoughts on the on the Hollywood <laughs> premiere for Tiger? I immediately thought of Joe Dirt, but like I would do it as like <laughs> drama. And like, you know, like in a world <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be Affleck and it'd be like uh, Melissa no. McCarthy. Oh God. <laughs> nice. Gone yeah, part two. It'd be like a big production thing. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Amy, what are, what are your thoughts on who would play who? Uh, I mean, Kate McKinnon is just perfect in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say, I, I mean, I really, really would like to see Zach Galifianakis uh, uh, potentially as Doc, but honestly, like any of those, I think that he could be, uh, he's just, he's just got that weird, like crazy humor, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like he's just not really sane. And so some of the things he doesn't say, he, but he'll say it like with a, a straight face delivery. Uh, and he's from the area, so you yes. know he's gonna get it, right? <laughs> he's he's gonna pull on some serious like uh, life experience there. So I would like to see him in there somewhere. But yeah. All right, all right, Tila, who do you got? All right, uh, let's see. First thing, first one. I'm gonna go. Zach Efron has got to play one of these hot. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's you, gotta bring, you gotta bring the ladies in the movie theater. I hear you. I mean, if he could be Ted Bundy, I mean, yes. he could do anything. He's <laughs> so yeah, he's not like, good. not Joe Jonas, because he's just like too pretty, but I think Zach, I think Zach Efron would be Yeah, pretty. it's gotta be him. He's gotta be one or all three of them. I don't care. <laughs> uh, and then I was thinking for Carol, because Carol really is like the most fascinating character to me in this whole series. I mean, she's like next level psychotic yeah. in my opinion yeah to me like everyone else is like you know what they're doing and they yeah. know what they're doing and they want to just keep doing it but she wants to do what they're doing without somehow masking it and making it seem this other thing and she's doing that mm -hmm. so i was thinking like who could play that like sunny but like you can tell that they're demented <laughs> and i think that um Tony Collette would pull that off. Yes, Tony uh, Collette would be yes. great. Hard agree. Wow, good call. I love Tony Collette with a passion. Same. Yeah. He's very um, I also think um what's her name? Shoot. As a backup. I wanna say, I wanna call her where is oh Carol Kane would also be a really good um Carol. But she <laughs> she's in the Hunters now. She was in the Adams family. She was in um oh, yeah. that Kimmy Schmidt thing. She's a little older though, so that's mm -hmm. the only thing. Yeah. Like she's a little older, but she has those like crazy eyes and the crazy blonde hair, and she's very kind of dark but also kooky. Mm -hmm. she's a little bit younger. I think Carol Kane would be yeah. really fantastic. You know, ironically, the lady from um Ozark, the mom from Ozark. Oh, sorry. wow, yeah, yeah, good call on that. Nice. So who do you, do you figure yours out? Um, I think so. Um, for Carol, I mean, I do like, um, I think Kate McKinnon is the perfect option, but if I had to pick like other ones, I feel like, I don't know, Kristen Wiig would be really funny. Um, Always. If, if it was more serious, who's the mom from, from Get Out that hypnotizes? Oh, she was the, uh, the, a girlfriend and forty year old virgin that had the eBay store. I can't think yeah. of her name. She's good. Um her who is it? Um, let me look it up. Anyways, her Wait, I need Oh to... no, it's not Catherine Keener. Is it Catherine Keener? Yeah, yeah, it is Catherine yeah. Keener. Yeah. I was also thinking, um, for one of the girlfriends uh, for like the girlfriend of Jeff, the main girlfriend, Debbie Mazer. Ah, nice. Right? Love her. She's like hot, but also dark, like just weird and dark. Yeah, it's those eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it's the eyes. It's Great. the eyes. Like she she's hot, but she also might stab you. I don't know. She does, though. Like, yeah. And she's fucking funny. She's really yeah. funny. 
Oh yeah, I, I would. I still watch Entourage at least once a week, and literally, it's for her and Ari. He's so, so good. Love it. Um, do you have like anybody else? I mean, I think Will Ferrell would be a good doc. Yeah, yeah, he would be a great doc. Yeah. Basically, he would. I don't. So for Doc, and I think Matthew will appreciate this, and it's because he looks very similar to him in the movie High Fidelity, but Tim Robbins. Because he's yeah. got the ponytail, he's got yeah. the, the little, the little yeah. thing there, looks just like Doc. So if you've not yeah. seen the original High Fidelity, not the new show with uh, Zoe Kravitz, which I do want to check that out. That's on my list because I love her. Uh, I do want to check that out. Um, yes. But yeah, Tim Robbins for Doc. And then um, for for Joe Exotic, hold on, I think I wrote it down. That's I put it a somewhere. hard one to cast. Like, it's it, such a, it is. You know, like I, I feel think, like once they cast it, we'll be like, oh, okay, that's great. But that's a hard one. Yeah, I, I went with Woody Harrelson. I think he can just play oh, yes. anything. Yes. And he's just, you know, he's so kooky and just such a great actor. And I could just see him do that role. And he's um, always stoned, so it would work out so right, well. <laughs> right. I mean, I could just, especially uh, just him playing a great Larry Flint in The People versus Larry Flint. Yeah. I think he could do this role hands yeah. down to, to a T. And then um, I, I like the Zac Efron there, Tila, for one of the dudes. It'd be cool to see, like, as the other guy, the one with without the teeth, Maybe doing like Channing Tatum, but without the teeth, like having. Oh my like, God! Yes. That meth yes. mouth. Yes. <laughs> yes. I feel bad. Apparently, again in that in that Twitter thread, they apparently Jonathan like fixed his teeth. Like that's been yeah. done for a while, but the producers yeah. just never yeah. showed it. Yeah. My well, face hurts every time I watch him. Like, Any time like, he really smiles, he just smiles with great teeth. Mm. Yeah, and that was great. And again, with the editing too, it was so great when the sheriff's talking about. Well, there's this thing that they call meth mouth, and then it literally pans oh, no. to the dude with <laughs> fucking meth mouth. I saw I saw a meme that was like the gap between his teeth was like practicing social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to recently explain uh, Mountain Dew mouth to people up here in the city, and they were like, "What is that?" I was like, "It's a thing, it's a thing. in the mountains." <laughs> um, Similar to Mouth Mouth, but it's Mountain Dew Mouth, and it's it's the whole thing. And they were like, I've never heard of that before. I was like, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that you haven't. Uh, also, like, was it in his contract that he was never allowed to wear a shirt for any of the interviews? Oh, <laughs> oh thank you. I was going to bring that up earlier. I totally forgot. The <laughs> most random scenes of interviews ever are in this documentary. Like in I said that to Heather. I was like, I was like, did he just go up and be like, Nah, man, I ain't wearing no shirt for this shit. You just got to tape it like this. Again, we've met these people. I don't know why anyone in this call is surprised. But then, but then the other dude, the hit, the hitman guy, Frank, they're like interviewing him in some cheap motel, like heart shaped bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> <Turn off. laughs> <laughs> yeah, he and Jeff were genuinely terrifying to me. Like those, are, those are the people that you have to like. Those are your patrons that come uh, the, and you're the, like, the, I'm the gonna serve this guy, guy a beer and I'm not gonna make him mad because I just. Uh, Oh, I don't remember him being in a bathtub. Yeah. Oh, there was a bath love motion. Yeah. And of it was, course, it was I mean, at the very end. It was uh, you know, it's, it's always a good sign of anything that's that's entertaining us. And I mean, at least we have this here to entertain us while we're all stuck at home. Oh, Netflix. You know, we're, we're not saying any of these people are great. Out, you know. but, but the memes, though. I mean, oh, you know, last year we started off the year with Bird Box, and the Bird Box memes oh, were so damn God. good. Bird Box. And uh, this year started off good with some memes, you know, with Baby Yoda and everything else, but the Tiger King memes i mean there's like four new ones every day that pop up that are just so damn good and today i posted the michael scott one of the, yeah. everybody's look on their face i watched a document documentary that had pizza at the zoo and i'm like oh my god that's oh, so true because <laughs> you know if you went to the zoo and you're watching the documentary you're like oh, fuck no Oh no! <laughs> Again, like I don't know if I've just God, worked at a pizza. lot of dive bars, and not saying that any of the dive bars I've worked at have ever put rotten meat on their food. They haven't, it, but it does. Yeah, I'm not saying that like, I eat at five star restaurants, but you don't want to know that you have like two week old no, hundred percent meat. From no, Walmart. Again, again your, for your legal purposes, I am Walmart not secondary meat. <laughs> right. Not any kind of rotten meat, but it does it like. I've just seen business owners, not even and not even just in the bar, but like business owners in general that will do some really weird, gross things to just cut corners. And you're like, oh, you're just close. Oh. New? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that's a thing. 
He just took it to another level, as meth will do for a person. <laughs> I love how, meth, like, they, like, talk about meth for, like, two seconds. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. like everyone's doing this, like, the whole time. I mean, yeah. it's, like, the so whole everyone time. else in the country thinks that this is just how these people are, and the rest no, of us are like, like, oh, no, they're on meth. Yeah. like, hardcore, all on meth. And then that one woman. <laughs> oh. Run that okay. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. But then that one woman, or who was it, being interviewed? They were so drunk, they literally like fell back on the bed at some point. Oh no, that was the, oh, that the was guy. Eric. Yeah, Eric, the, the guy that worked at the far at the, at the zoo say, forever. Yeah, Eric. they talk about that in the Twitter feed as well. And the guy, because oh. he also interviewed him for his podcast, and he was like, "Do you have any, you know?" Do you feel any kind of remorse for interviewing what's his name, Eric when he was so blitzed out, out of his mind? He was like, I understand what you're saying, but whenever he like wasn't working, he was always blitzed out of his mind. So there was not like an ethical dilemma. That's just how he was, and he'd be the first right. person to tell you. Like that's just right. that's his state. There was right. a Cardi handle in the back shot of like every single scene that he was like, <laughs> at his house. Like every yeah. he was in his kitchen, there was like a, like a Bacardi handle or a Smirnoff handle. He goes oh. into his bedroom. You look at his nightstand. There's a Smirnoff. And I'm like, oh. they're all empty. Oh. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. The hotel one. I, and I noticed it after rewatching the episode. I was like, look at that big ass bottle of Smirnoff that's right behind him. <laughs> huge. And oh, the, man. I've got heartburn just thinking about that. <laughs> the other scene, this one was, this is a, a little darker, but it actually, I was, my jaw was on the floor was, when they're talking about when Trevor comes in and he's got the, the gun and then they thought he pulled out all the bullets and the campaign manager, oh, it's the God. camera on him. All of a sudden you see the flash and like, mm-hmm. he's, and he's just like, yeah, I was like, that was Wait, awful. they just showed that. Like yeah. that, that scene itself. Like I was not, I mean, looking back on it, you probably could have guessed what was going to happen, but I was not, that's I had no not idea. that was not what I was expecting oh. at, right. all, at all, at all, at all. Yeah. yeah. Was, well, I mean, it wasn't gory, so it wasn't like they were showing the guy's actual death. It was the reaction. It was actually kind of a genius directorial kind of. Yeah. It yeah. was crazy. And it was like that was dark. That was dark. It was rough. It was rough. I was already so sad for that kid in general, yeah. and then just. Ugh. And then the thing that we, we were talking about too is that it was kind of not kind of. It's very schemerish how like he invites his Trevor's mom to the wedding, mm-hmm. and then doesn't speak to her. And again, this goes back to what I mentioned earlier about how there's 19 sides of every single story. So do we, yeah. do we really know that we, uh, we don't know, but we're just going off of what we watched. He invites her two months later, marries another dude. Yeah. Young dude, young, young bites, dude. Bites the mom to the wedding and then Amazing. see you later, mom. Just, enough, just long enough to take a picture and exactly. then use that for his promotional Sing a song. Whatever, and to yeah. make everyone else be like, oh, well, it's okay. That's why I was saying he's a total sociopath like oh, he yeah. just doesn't and that doesn't mean that he's like a you know violent person it just means he's a sociopath he doesn't care about like his emotions are for sure that's yeah. you know i'm crazy. sure at, at one point maybe years ago he had those actual emotions but now he's it, way too far down whatever k-hole has <laughs> adjusted his baskin hole <laughs> do you guys think he blew up his own Recording studio? Ooh, yes. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. they, they had like that one shitty shot that was like, oh, was this this man? And why is it that the security footage everywhere is so fucking terrible? Like, you never get a decent yeah. shot of anything because, or anyone. Like, Joe, but, Joe yeah, knows he definitely he's, blew still, that he's shit doing up. fishy stuff there. I'm sure he took that in mind. Like, oh, yeah. especially when he started, like, he did fishy stuff on the daily, I'm sure. Yeah, when it started unraveling, he was like, we got to burn this shit to the ground yeah. and playing character. Yeah, he was out of town for a funeral. Like, come on, man. Come on, bro. The other thing that cracked me up was that you always hear the saying, snitches get stitches. But in this situation, everyone's like, snitches get out on top. <laughs> yeah. Give away the house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell everybody guy, everything. Did, when the, the, scene, the guy, when he first admits to being um, a, a CI for the, oh, for the FBI, yeah. and he's like walking through the parking lot and he's got like the wind in his hair i'm like you're not a fucking superhero you're a snitch to the, and you're also a terrible know. human being who traffics in animals the, like the but he looked like with his double chin and it was just who would like, play that guy the big yeah guy. so the jet ski scene too was so oh my God. random <laughs> like just like 
I had seen the jet ski meme before I got to that episode. So I had been like sending this out on Instagram, like, oh, how funny is that? Thinking it was totally unrelated. Right. I and thought this was like a new comedy scene, movie. Like, I'm like, of course it's in this documentary. Of course it's it's got everything in here. Everything is here. <laughs> See, that guy, that Zach Galifianakis could definitely be that dude. Yeah, yeah. I thought about that too. I wondered. I wondered. That haircut is hilarious. His haircut. Oh, I there's some horrible hair on the show. Like John that, Goodman. Um, who was that comedian in the 90s that also had a TV show or like a cartoon? Um, Louie? Louie, but he's oh, totally like uh, him now, but he would be so fucking perfect. Like yeah, young Louie would be that. great. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, before we sign off, uh, you guys want to do some individual shout outs to all your peeps out there? We can start with uh, Tila, go down to Amy, Matt, D Rad, and uh, you know, just say hi to whoever you want to. Shout outs, just a uh, solo dubs is what we used to call them before we uh, before we wrap up this uh, uh, episode on the uh, good old Tiger King. <laughs> Um, well, really, I'm prepared for this, so I'm just going to go with the classic, hey, mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, um, I'm going to shout out all my Greensboro peeps who are all over the place now, but um, as, as is noticeable by Teal and I in New York, um, but, you know, I don't get home as much as I like, but I love you guys, and I miss everyone, and I hope you're all doing well. Those are my peeps. You know who you are. <laughs> Matthew word word um everybody stay home it's stay really home a, stay home it's so simple just stay the fuck home yeah um uh if you get a chance listen to the nw bros we got mm. wrestlemania coming up next week which probably won't be that good but fuck it we're gonna talk about it anyway um so that's coming up on saturday and sunday as they say too big for one night um nw bros and stay the fuck home. <laughs> Please. Dennis? On top of the uh, stay the fuck home, uh, shout out uh, the lovely fiance, Kirsten. And then Aww. be sure to check out the uh, Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash xdxrad. Uh, sponsored by Zero Dark Nerdy. Damn. Um, so any, any exciting things going on, we'll talk about them on the stream. Hop in the chat and we'll keep it going. If you need any ideas, as to if you're getting bored, getting crazy, DM the uh, ZDN Instagram and we can all think of something, whether it's making up a game or puzzles or whatever you got to do to stay home, keep yourself sane, let us know and we can uh, give you some tips or ideas. Excellent. Jordan? Hmm. None of my friends have like watched, watched this. They don't like watch like my best friend Eden. She doesn't watch TV. It's so, like I can't. Like I only talked to dad about <laughs> Tiger King, dad, mom, and um, hey! <laughs> and uh, Janice. Janice uh, messages me all the time about Tiger King, actually. <laughs> so my aunt, That's um, my sister. Wait, is that a new generational thing? Are you guys not watching TV now? I'm okay with that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I that's no. Nah, that's all I do. Oops, but um, yeah. I feel like, like, um, like Amy said, like it's like a big shout out to the sanitation workers and like the, you know, everyday grocery store workers, drive-through workers, stuff like that, that are, you know, dealing with all this stuff in spite of like what's going on with the pandemic. I think it's really important. Yeah. Minimum wage and below, folks, yeah. are literally yeah. keeping yeah. us going right now. Exactly. Yeah. Without health insurance. Yeah, everybody out there, um, stay safe. Just like Matthew says, stay home as much as possible. You know, I'm driving back to Greensboro and literally going right to my apartment. Just going to chill there for a week or two to just do some well overdue purging of stuff I need to get rid of. And then I'll be back down here to harass my daughter for another few weeks while I get to work remote. Um, again, big shout out to all our fans across the world. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Follow us on all the major platforms, YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, iTunes, and of course, um, I don't know, I'm probably forgetting some shit. Facebook, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> we're, we're everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, this episode has been fun. We're definitely going to do some more. Uh, I believe this will air this Wednesday. So Wednesday night, 730 Eastern Standard Time, we are going to start doing a weekly online trivia. Uh, we yeah, tried to we asked about that. Week. 
it was, uh, you know, it was okay. We got a bunch of people kind of got knocked off for Facebook reasons. I don't know what it is. So we were moving it to zoom. So go to the zero dark nerdy Facebook page, go to events. You'll see online pop culture, online trivia presented by zoom. So we're going to be doing that myself and Jerry um, every Wednesday at seven thirty. So that way we can bring trivia to your home. So Amy and Tila, even though you're in New York and cannot physically make it for a trivia night now, people yeah, I'd love to this for trivia. Um, I don't know what Jerry's rounds are yet. My two rounds are whose line is it, anyways? So mm-hmm. I'm actually going to have sound bites from comedians. Yeah, you, oh, you have to type in what comedian it is, and then I got uh, sports movies as my second round. So Jerry will have two rounds. We're going to have some fun um, and go from there. Uh, as always, a big shout out to our uh, good friend and attorney, Andrew Newman, attorney at law. You never know when you're going to need a lawyer. And he doesn't take care of just Guilford County. He takes care of all surrounding counties and a bunch of North Carolina. His website is attorneynewman.com. Big shout out to Yes Weekly, as well as Zibster, responsible for our amazing website, as well as our SEO. And that's Z-I-B-S-T-E-R. Our website is popculturepodcast.com. And uh, I think that's it. Big shout out. Big thank you to Tila, Amy, Matthew, D-Rad, my daughter, for joining us on this. This is stuff that's going to get us through this time, people. Yeah, thanks for having us. The more people stay at home, the faster we can get out and hug each other in person. Right now, we'll do some virtual hugs. But I love y'all. So remember, guys, it's not yeah. staying. It's not forcing you to stay home. You're not hot. You're not forced right. to stay in your home. You're safe in your home. You exactly. Are- exactly. There's nowhere to go anyway. <laughs> you're not going? in a New York apartment. So what's, enjoy what's your time. All the bars. I'm like, where, where else am I going? <laughs> where am I gonna go? It's just the bar club. It's the circle, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And uh, yeah, so you know, anything you want to see, you want to hear, hit us up on uh, Instagram, Facebook, all that fun stuff. D-Rad's going to be streaming. Matthew streams sometimes. I don't know if he's on Mortal Kombat. We got Mortal Kombat 10. I've been kicking some ass as Jason Voorhees. Ooh, so. <laughs> I don't have yet? 11 yet. And then apparently D-Rad, tomorrow we're supposed to get uh, Modern Warfare 2. Am I correct on that? Just the campaign. The okay. Mastered. All right. Just well, at least it's a campaign for now. I mean, you figured it would have been that close because Battle Royale literally just came out like a month ago. So we could also, I was thinking in the future, we can get some scribble games going. Yes. Well. He just put me on the scribble. We all got to get on that. So it's like Pictionary, but we can all do it from our own laptops and, uh, and self. That sounds delightful. <laughs> also, before we leave, um, Tila, can I ask about the hot chick with the gun on your wall behind you? I, was thinking <laughs> that, like, I really yeah. wanted to talk about it. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's get. Let's get I'm going to be disappointed if you say it's not you. <laughs> not well, me. Uh, that is a great a picture, though. So this is this is um, an artist. I don't know if you can see that. Her name's Iris. She's a badass like finger painter. Um, and I like I know her a friend to a friend to a friend, whatever. And so I ended up getting this. It's actually just one of her prints because her. Um, the, the finger painted stuff is so fucking expensive, but she's like killing it. That's all and finger paint? Yeah. She, she, wow. This is a print of it, but this is what it looks like. Like she finger painted that. For folks at home, this is a super hot blonde chick sitting cross legged on a chair, and you see her profile where she is pointing a rifle with her legs crossed at somebody. I don't know, but it's, well, it's at my really front door. Yeah. Don't what's her like, Insta? Don't come in. <laughs> yeah. Where can, where can people find her at? Um, oh, God. I have to look up her website, but I think if you just look up Iris, like finger painting, okay, you'll find her. We'll, we'll put that info out because I do plan on having this video out on our YouTube, and then we'll have the audio for the podcast, yeah. of course. Oh, Iris Scott. Okay. Finger painting artist, Brooklyn, New York. Iris Scott. She's Brooklyn in the house. Yeah. Baby, oh. baby. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We'll be doing this throughout the week. I mean, right now we got nothing but time. <laughs> so let's bang out some episodes, have some fun. Uh, again, check out the website, popculturepodcast.com. Again, big thank you to Yes Weekly, Andrew Newman, Zipster. Um, and that's it. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Later. Peace. Bye, guys. You must have put the hang up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yeah! Victory! And anger management? Fuck anger management.